What's going on everybody? My name is Eli and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. I got a pretty good question in my DMs the other day. Somebody asked me, what did I look for in a post back program? They were thinking about applying to post back programs and they just didn't really know what, you know, what to look for, what type of criteria goes into finding a post back program. And although I answered that question on the spot, I figured it was a pretty good question to make a video about. If you're new to the channel, my name is Eli and I'm a third year dental student at Boston University Goldman School of Dental Medicine. On this channel, I make dental school vlogs as well as videos with advice for pre-dental students. So if this is something that interests you, please make sure you subscribe, share the channel with a friend. And definitely, if you like this video, leave a like and leave a comment if you have any more questions. So first off, let's talk about what qualifies me to make this, G this video. So I did a post back program because I had a low undergrad GPA. I applied to dental school immediately after doing it I received six interviews, I applied to 12 schools, and I was accepted to Boston University with a scholarship. Now also, I chose to do a post back and not a master's program. Both options are out there. It's kind of up to you what you prefer. The post back program I did allowed you to finish the master's if you like to, but I decided that I would just do the post back certificate program and then I would go do the master's if I didn't get into dental school. Luckily, I ended up getting into dental school, so I decided to save 20 plus thousand dollars and not do the masters. So I think there's three keys that I used when I was trying to figure out which programs to apply to or to attend. Number one would be the courses offered. You want to look at the courses being offered and you want to see if they line up with what a first year medical school or dental school curriculum would look like. That means you want a program that has advanced but core science classes like biochemistry, physiology, anatomy, microbiology, pathology, anything like that. But I definitely think some of the important courses especially for establishing that foundation before your first year of medical or dental school, anatomy, biochemistry, and physiology. If you can find a program that offers all three or two out of three, it's probably a really good program to look into. The second thing I looked for, and this honestly might be the number one most important, is the alumni success. Take a look at where the program is putting students that completed their program. The program I did called George Squared literally has a page on their website dedicated to shouting out where the alumni of their program attend medical, dental school, pharmacy programs, PA programs, and even has a section where they highlight their alumni. I think I might be on there, <laughs> but they have a section where they highlight their alumni and like the things that their alumni are doing now. So that was very easy for me to go and see, okay, they're putting students at University of Maryland School of Dentistry, Boston University, VCU, all these different places. And honestly, when it came time for me to apply to dental school, I literally picked and chose schools from that list because I knew that they would be familiar with the post back program that I did. And because I knew that students that did the post back we're going to those schools. Now everybody knows that grades get you far, but your network is what's very important. While your grades are important in getting you to dental school, if you're able to network with students that did your post back program and now go to that dental school or went to that dental school, you get an even better perspective of how that post back program prepares you for that school or just medical or dental school in general. And you also get to build your network that way. So. It's definitely important to take a look at where the alumni are going after doing the program. Now, another thing to look into, this is kind of hard to come by and also these programs are a lot more competitive, but they're linkage programs. If you see the program is actually linked to a school, definitely something you want to look into. When I was applying to post bag programs, I was pre-med. So I did apply to a linkage program at Drexel um, College of Medicine that was a one year master's linked to the medical school. 
and literally all you had to do was get above like a 3.0 in the masters and score above a 504 on the MCAT or something like 502 maybe. So, you know, that was something to look into for me. I thought, you know, why not save time on applying to med school again, et cetera, et cetera. I, I honestly cannot list you all the programs that are linked to a school, but when it comes to dental school, there's a lot of programs that won't ex explicitly say they're linked to a school. But if you see a master's program at a dental school, like the OHS master's program at BU Dental or the MHS master's program at Meharry, those are really good programs to look into, even if they may not explicitly say they're a linkage program. You know how it goes when you're already at the school that you might want to attend. So definitely something to look into. So I also actually reached out to one of my classmates from my post bag program She's in the same year as me at Temple uh, Med School, Temple School of Medicine. Ah. She's in med school at Temple um, and she's a third year. And I reached out to her to, just to get like a med student's perspective, but also just to get a different perspective than my own. So I asked her, you know, why did you, or what did you look for when you were applying to a post back and why did you choose G squared, which was the program we both did. And she offered, um, some of the same things that I mentioned, like alumni success and curriculum, but she also mentioned some other things I didn't think about. So one thing she said was the diversity of the program. She said she knew she needed a strong support system of minorities through the post back, not only to help her through the curriculum academically, but also mentally, emotionally, socially. And she literally said honestly she wouldn't have thrived or enjoyed herself as much during George Squared if she hadn't met us which was like her core group of friends and another thing she mentioned was cost this was something I didn't consider as much um, mainly because I knew that if I went to a program did well and it got me where I needed to be which was dental school eventually I'd be able to pay it off she said cost was less important to her because at the time of applying, she was desperate and she was just concerned about getting into a reputable program so she could get into med school. Um, so I guess same thing for her. It didn't weigh that heavily on her, but, you know, I agree with her. I do think it is an important factor, especially, you know, with the price of medical school and dental school these days, you want to avoid taking out as much money in loans as you possibly can. So the less expensive the program is, the better. Or maybe, you know, you find a program that's closer to you so you're able to commute. That's what I did. Save you money on housing, moving to a different state, etc. So I do think that cost is important. And maybe I did analyze costs indirectly by choosing a program that was kind of closer to where I lived. All in all, I wanted to make that quick video because that was a great question that somebody asked me and I do think that I haven't touched on that subject before on my channel even though I talk pretty frequently about me doing a post bag program and trying to get my grades up before going to dental school so thank you for submitting that question in my DMs and allowing me to use it to come up with an idea for this video. If you have any extra questions about choosing a post bag, please comment them down below. If you found this video valuable and you watched all the way to the end, please like the video, help boost the channel and the algorithm, help more people find the channel, help more people find the scholarship, etc. That's all I got for today's video. I thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.